Now that we've made our project and we have our stimulation protocol, we want to do some basic statistical tests. So we can close the stimulation protocol window and go to analysis and click on compute the linear correlation maps. So this will open up the window called linear correlation and it will have our stimulation protocol that we designed in there. So we want to compare one of our experimental conditions to our fixation condition. So if we right click on images in the left visual field and left click on the fixation or alternatively you can do this in the sidebar here we create this boxcar function between the two conditions we also want to add the hemodynamic response function to that to account for the delay the hemodynamic delay and once we've done this we can hit go so what we've done is we calculated a correlation test between our experimental condition and our fixation condition and what's been overlaid over the slices are pixels that have exceeded some statistical threshold, areas that are yellow and red uh, indicate a positive correlation, and areas that are blue and green indicate a negative correlation. So if we change our, our grid layout um, down to slices 6 and 7, and we use page down to scroll through our slices, we can see that there's not very many areas that are orange or red. So what we can do is we can adjust the statistical threshold by clicking decrease or increase threshold on the left hand toolbar. So if we decrease the threshold to about 0 0.0037, you can see there are more areas that have reached the statistical threshold in our correlation test. Now we want to define a region of interest. So if we use the mouse, we can left click and drag to select a region of interest. And what appears is a region of interest signal time course. Now in this window you can see it's quite intuitive. So what we have here is the mean time course for all our pixels in the region of interest. Stimuli that were presented in the left visual field we have some response and in the condition where stimulus were presented in both visual fields we've got some response but not much of a response when they were presented in the right visual field. And this is intuitive because we're looking at our slices from underneath. So on the left hand side here we have the right hemisphere. We can also define a second region of interest by holding control and click dragging with the mouse and you can see that the second region of interest is boxed by a blue box which is indicated in the bottom left of our time course window. And if we wanted to we could save these time courses by control R. So this concludes the basic statistical tests. The next tutorial will cover how to pre-process FMR projects.